In this video, we're going to take a look at encryption in Microsoft 365. Now, I know when I was looking for information about the encryption capabilities in Microsoft 365, there was a lot of conflicting information out there. So I wanted to create this video to provide a clear explanation of what encryption is, what it does and how it works. Now, if you want to use encryption for emails in Microsoft 365, there's two prerequisites that you need, first of all. The first thing you need is you need a subscription that has email encryption capabilities. So that would be something like the E3 or E5 subscription. The second thing you need to make sure is that you have Azure Rights Management enabled. With those two prerequisites in place, you can start to use email encryption capabilities. So let's dive into the video and take a look at how we do it. So let's take a look at how email encryption works in practice. So I'm in the desktop version of Microsoft Outlook and I want to send an encrypted email to somebody in my organization or indeed even to a third party. How do I do that? Well, I'll go to create a new email as normal, type in the recipient's name or email address rather. Type in the subject as normal and type in my message. Now, before I hit send, I want to go to the options ribbon at the top and go to the encrypt option. You'll see here there's actually four separate encryption options I can choose from. Now, encrypt just encrypts the contents only, but some of the best features are in the final three options. So do not forward will prevent the recipient from printing, copying the contents or forwarding the email to anybody else as well as encrypting the contents of the email as well. Confidential, all employees will again encrypt the contents of the email, prevent printing, prevent the recipient from forwarding the email to anyone and it will also prevent external recipients from being able to view the email. Highly confidential, all employees will prevent printing encrypt the contents. It also prevents recipients from replying as well as preventing forwarding and external recipients from being able to view the email. So in this example, I'm gonna select do not forward. So I can see at the top here, it's telling me that the recipients will be able to read the message, but they won't be able to forward, print, or copy the content. All I do then is click the send button to send the email through. So when we sent an encrypted email, what does it look like to the recipient? Well, let's take a look at what happens in Outlook first of all. So I can see here that I've received an encrypted email into my Outlook desktop application. And I know this is an encrypted email due to the padlock over here on the left. Now, when I open up this email, you won't be able to see anything. And that's because emails opened up in the Outlook desktop client that are encrypted are prevented from being screen recorded or captured using functions like print screen. I can guarantee the experience for Outlook users is seamless, however. So if recipients are receiving the email in the Outlook desktop application or even the Outlook web browser, the experience is pretty seamless. There's nothing more they have to do besides open up the email. But things do work slightly differently if you're sending an encrypted email from Outlook to a uh, third party email service such as Gmail. So let's take a look at that. So I can see here that I've received an encrypted email into my Gmail account. If I open up the email, rather than seeing the contents of the email, I get an option here, a button to click saying, read the message. So when I click on that button there, it's gonna ask me to revalidate who I am. So I have the option here of signing in again with Google or signing in with a one-time passcode. Let's sign in with Google. And because I'm already authenticated with Gmail, it takes me straight in to the email itself. But again, I can see that I can't 
copy the contents or forward or print the email on. All I can do is reply to the sender. Now, this time let's go back to read the message and I'm gonna sign in with the one-time passcode this time around. So if I head over to my Gmail account, I can see that I've got the one-time passcode here. So all I need to do then is just type the passcode into the space over here. So 32113391, 32113391, click continue. And it takes me into the portal once again. So that's the basics of using email encryption in Microsoft 365. It is important to remember that you do have the prerequisite set. So you do need a suitable Microsoft 365 subscription as long as you also have the Azure Rights Management service enabled as well. You'll be able to use email encryption with no problems. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give us a thumbs up down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content.